This young lady performs at colleges and clubs all over the country. Let's give it up for Miss Megan Harris. Keep it going for her. Thank you. 
I think we were all struggling. It's fine. Um, no, I was a great child. I was the middle child, so I was invisible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Not traumatized. Um, yeah, but I could literally kill someone, and as long as I got away with it, it would be fine. Like, I could come home at 3 a.m., handful of dollar bills, covered in glitter, smelling like no one would care. No one. Zero people would care. I'd just take a shot, turn on my nightlight, and head off to bed. That's great. Yeah. Um, no, my childhood was great. It was great. Um, I did get left home alone a lot. You know, uh, which also would have been great if my house wasn't haunted. <laughs> like, legitimately haunted. Um, so, I made friends with this ghost named Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I named him Kevin because calling him spooky boys seemed too offensive. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I love Kevin. You know, we had so much in common. So much. Um, my parents couldn't see him either. Yeah, I had no idea he was there. Um, they thought that I was the one riding in blood on the mirrors. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Like, obviously, I went through a scene phase. I, I get it. I can get why they think that, but like, doesn't it seem like a little much? Like, I don't think little eight-year-old me is writing right now. I know. While we left The Shining, it's not very easy to access blood at the previous amount. Um, yeah. Also, um, I would get in trouble for things that would happen in another room. Like, my pool noodle arms could lift an entire fridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. That one was great. Uh, but my drama did look like, like a Scooby-Doo chase scene. You know the ones where it's like, you know. Yeah. Um, it was basically me running at Kevin with handfuls of sage and salt, and Kevin popping in and out of doors like a goddamn whackable. No wonder I have amazing legs. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much.